this is a beautiful day in Colorado. It's like the warmest fall day we've had in a while. Well, hello there, Rando Nuts. I got the air on. I'm at a park. Not, it's not a park. It's more of a trailhead. But it is actually really warm today. It's been very cold. Not cold, but colder. It's been cooler in Colorado. And it is October. I even wore, like, look what I'm wearing. Well, you can't see the full thing yet. But I'm wearing this, like, nice dress that I normally probably wouldn't wear when I do a randonautica. But, um, but you know what? YOLO. It's October. It's probably one of my last chances to wear something like this. But here we are, and the original Randonautica app is still not working. So what are we gonna do? We are going to use the knockoff version of the app that I've now used in two other videos, two other videos, and that app is called the Randonautica, wait, Randonaut Location Generator. Could they have picked like a more mouthfully title for themselves? Also feels very copyright infringement. Even the logo with the owl, it's a different owl, but it still looks exactly like the original Randonautica app. And I'm like, how are the original Randonautica people not like suing this new app? I don't understand. But before we jump into the actual rando nodding, I need to say the things that I always end up saying at the end of the video, and nobody watches the very end of the video. I mean, maybe some of you, if you watch to the very end of the video today, and maybe you you will, you get like the biggest virtual hug from me because I, I don't think, I don't know if that many people are totally watching till the very end. Anyway, so I have this habit of at the very end of the video is when I say all the stuff that I should say at the beginning of the video, like, hey, subscribe to my channel because I think we like each other. You like me, I like you because you clicked on this and you're watching it. And so I say that and then I also will say things like give me suggestions for intention. So I always say that at the end of the video and that no one gives me intention suggestions because they're not, they don't see that. So, um, so for my future videos, I would love to get from you guys some ideas for intentions because sometimes I'm like, I, I just don't fully have a good intention planned out. So I think that was all that I needed to say about that. So one, give me intentions, two, subscribe, and then I guess also like the video because why not? I feel like my hair is a little bit, a little crazy. Okay, let's get into the rando nodding. So first of all, I heard a rumor that this new rando knot location generator knockoff app, um, now only allows you to do one point before it forces you to try to subscribe to whatever stupid subscription thing they make you do and they're probably making some money with the with the other Randonautica app down I bet this app is just taking full advantage but um I am not willing to subscribe to this app like I just am not like I'm not gonna spend money on that especially when the original like better version is free and should be free because it's it's just like the integrity of the app I feel like there's there's people trying to get out of their car right next to me I'm getting a lot more brave though about I just give no more fucks about people being around when I'm filming like look at me in my car filming myself it's okay so anyway so we've got this app up and if it really only lets me do one point today then then this might be a short video. I'm gonna really try to milk it, I guess. I mean, I guess it'll be easier for you to watch till the very end if it's short, but I don't know, I can't read the future. <laughs> I, I don't know yet how long this video is gonna be. But anyway, I just pulled up the app and how the knockoff version works is it pulls you up like where it thinks you are. Right now it thinks I'm in water, which I'm not. I don't even think, well, I think I am near water. I'm at this kind of trailhead. So background about where I am. So I'm obviously in Boulder, Colorado, and I thought that today's video would be a really cool idea if I showed you some of the lesser seen Boulder area. So there's like the very known areas like the Pearl Street Mall and Chautauqua that like all the tourists go. And if you look up Boulder, you will often see like images of those places or like the CU campus. And those are all really cool places and I actually will probably feature some of that in videos that I'm going to be doing down the line. But today I thought maybe I should go somewhere that's like kind of like where the locals go or it's like really cool but it's like not necessarily like where like the first place you would go in Boulder. 
So I am in East Boulder and I am at a trailhead called Dry Creek Trail. It's a really good place to come walk your dog and just be in kind of like the more plainsy but like beautiful. There's like big cotton trees and stuff, which I will hopefully show you in just a minute. And um, I've seen like so many snakes here, so it's got a lot of snakes. So I thought that this would be a good place for us to start today and then we'll see where the app takes us today based on where I'm at right now. Okay, so that being said, Again, this is where the app thinks I am. It thinks I'm in water. And so my intention for today is to go to another really cool space in Boulder that is also like a little bit off the beaten path. Like for me, maybe a place that I have never been before. I need to succinct this a little bit. Okay, I would like the app to take me to a place that I have never been before that is really cool and is obviously near here. That is a little bit vague and sometimes when, sometimes when I do vague intentions, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So we'll see what happens, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, so again, there we go. That's a start, our starting point. Then we have to hit this little black button down here. So we are going to find an attractor, hit that. I kind of don't want to go very far today, so I'm going to actually select my radius as a thousand meters. Going to do the temporal way of figuring this out and then just one point okay now it's asking me for my intention so I'm gonna start here we go really cool place that I've never been before that is accessible please not someone's living room or the water there's not a lot of water but you know okay I hope this isn't too confusing it obviously worked because we got an ad that's how you know it worked oh interesting Okay, so this is the first thing it shows me, and it does look like it's in some sort of open space area next to water. So let's navigate and see like what I'm really dealing with here. This is kind of confusing. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna show this. So this is where, obviously where I am now, and this is the point. I don't know why it's showing this as like, oh, okay, because I think it, this is where it thought, I remember how it was showing me in the water? I think it originally thought I was in there but I'm actually over here. <laughs> and um, so it wants me to, I guess, drive around and go there. I don't, could I just walk over there? Wait, let me figure this out. Okay, so after further investigation of looking at this app, I don't think it would make sense to like drive around the lake like it wants me to do, um, because I'm pretty sure that the trail that I'm at actually leads to this point or at least near it like it would be better just to walk on the trail than try to drive because I also think that whatever this part is where it wants me to turn off that road and go that I think that might not be like a real road like I don't know if you can really drive there so I'd rather not risk it so let's start walking and if we need to change the plan and get back in the car and drive instead then we can do that so here is the official start of the trailhead. So we are just gonna walk on in and see what happens. So what I believe is that the point is somewhere, sure I'll stop walking, is somewhere back behind those trees. But um, I'm getting just a little bit worried about um, if we're actually gonna be able to walk to it from this direction because I was looking at the map and my little blue dot is moving pretty slowly in terms of like how far we have to go on foot so so we'll see and I'm just not sure if it's accessible so we'll see but if we have to change then we will I'm gonna try really hard to fully get to the point because I hear you I hear that you would like me to do that and you know it's good to push myself it's good to push myself so we're gonna just try to try to get over there Oh my gosh, so cool. There is a really big hawk. Such a cool hawk. Oh my gosh, finally some shade. One thing about this trail is that there's like really no shade at all. So if it's a hot day, not the best choice, but it is the choice that I made.
Okay, update on I am the blue dot, so that is me. I have walked from, I don't even know, but it feels like we have definitely been prepared to go to get to our point. Ignore the, ignore the big blue line that's going all the way around the water. That's not us, so we lost it. So anyway, we're gonna keep going. The air quality in Boulder has not been super great for weeks now. Luckily I got to miss a lot of that because I was in Massachusetts during all that. But, um, but you can tell by kind of the skyline that I just showed you that it's still, it's still a little hazy. There's like good days and bad days. The other day we had like a crazy, crazy smoky day. But, um, but today it's a lot better so you can still see the haze. Also, since I'm back in Boulder, I decided I needed to wear my, um, you know, bouldery Birkenstocks. Okay, I don't know why, and it won't focus, but this feels like the walk of all walks. We are still, <laughs> the big red thing is what we are going for, and we're still kind of a ways. Okay, but for you, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna persevere through the hotness. I feel like I'm getting a little a little sweaty, but you know what, that's okay, because we're in a little beautiful landscape. There's cows over there, and so far this really is something that I've never seen before. Like, I've been on this trail before, but for some reason I've never gone this direction. The trail makes a loop kind of that way, and usually when I come here with my own dog, we'll kind of just do that little small loop back there, and I've never, like, come all the way out, out this way. So in many ways, the app is already kind of right on in terms of my intention of seeing a new place that I've never seen before. I'm also shocked that I haven't seen a snake yet. Maybe that's what is, maybe that's what's waiting for us when we get to my little point here is a snake. But I usually always see them out on this trail because I think it's, you know, so hot and sunny. There's like always snakes. Do you see any snakes? Snakes. 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 No snakes. But there is this weird, weird tree. Let me show you. What is this weird, lonely tree just kind of growing up in the middle of the plains here? Also, we are basically like right on the point. Let me show you. Okay, I was wrong. Before when the red when the red dot was big, my blue dot was like behind it, so it looked like we were closer than we were. But let's just keep walking, I guess. Oh, but you know what I just realized as I started walking, so the trail, it comes up to the lake, which is a private lake, and then it takes this turn and goes back kind of towards where we came from. And as I kept walking, I realized my blue dot thought I heard something. I thought that blue dot was gonna take me to the point, but the point is this way, and this way is private property. Let me show you. So here's the public trail, and then over here you see we've got the fence that I think is barbed wire, and then there's a road that's a part of the lake. There's like RVs and stuff, and then you can see obviously the lake over there. So, interesting, interesting, but where we need to go would actually be like more like down that road to get to the point, so we're probably not gonna be able to do that. So with that one, guys, I was really, really trying. I was really had full intentions of going to the point, but I truly am not gonna cross like a private property barbed wire fence. Plus this is a really um, like visited, it's private. It's like owned by a neighborhood and it's like very popular with that neighborhood. So it's not like, it's not like it's like an abandoned lake like I would just feel awkward like trying to like crawl, go over the fence to um to get over there but well let's see if we can see the point from here I'm just wondering now so that is pretty cool do you see over there where that like sparkling 
water is. There's a kind of a beach area over there and it's like really pretty. I feel like that is about the spot where the point is. It's kind of on that side of the lake. It looks really pretty. And it totally fits our intention in it. It's like a, probably a lesser known but really awesome probably spot to go. I'm sure if that was like a public lake and it had public access, I'm sure that would be like filled with people. Oh gosh, stepping on weird thorny things. Um, yeah, I'm sure it would be like a very coveted, cool spot to go. And it's probably now like a spot that you really can only go if you, well, one, know about it, and then two, like, you know, are part of this coveted, fancy neighborhood thing that got going on over here. So I would say that this was kind of a win and that the intention did seem to be mostly fulfilled by this rando not location generator knockoff app but obviously we couldn't fully get to the point itself because that would be illegal. But this was still a good adventure. This was still good. Okay, so that intention feels complete. Obviously we are walking back to Lake Car and um, we're gonna try to do another one, but we'll see if the app will let us, if they're gonna be cheapskates and make us pay or, or not, we'll see. Still looking for my snake. There's gotta be a snake. Come on, I should have put that in my intention. I'm kind of a weirdo, and I guess I like snakes. Where are you at, guys? Where are you at? Can you tell I'm ready to be creeped out after all this walking and heat and Colorado foliage? I'm ready to do something creepy, so I hope that this app continues to work for us once we get back to the car and we can do something else. <sighs> okay, that was actually a long walk, you guys. That was almost two miles of walking for me. That was, you guys didn't know that because I just showed you little bits, little bits and pieces, but, um, but that was a long walk in the heat and so now I'm definitely feeling depleted. But nevertheless, we will soldier on and just see what is going on in this knockoff Randonautica app. Let's see if it lets us, what am I doing? Let's just do what, it, what I would like it to. So it's still, when you pull up the app again, it's still on the last one. So at the bottom there's a thing called cancel. It's like that's just how you clear it. I'm gonna say cancel. So let's see what it does if I hit Randonaut again. It actually works, I think. Just, okay, it's having me pick an attractor. Okay, let's do one within, let's do 3,000 meters. I'm willing to drive wherever. Unless, like, right when I hit the intention, it's probably gonna stop me, maybe? Let's see, my hopes, my hopes are not fully up. You can tell I'm having trouble, like, having sentences because I'm so tired, but we are gonna try this. But I want to be led to somewhere creepy. I'm, I don't know why, but I feel like we need some creepy in this video, and I'm, I'm, I'm wanting that. So let's be led to like a creepy, dark home. Like a home where maybe someone like is weird, or maybe like where stuff happened in the past, like an old haunted place. That's our intention. Creepy home. Creepy home. Creepy home, creepy home, creepy home. Wow, it actually let me do the point. I'm really surprised. This hasn't shown me the point yet because it has to show me an ad first, but I know it went through. Dude, it totally has led me to like the front of a house, I think. This is what it looks like just from the screen. Like you can see, it's like right in front of a house right there. Oh my gosh, this could be really good. Let's see. Okay, it's kind of bizarre the way the directions come up, but that wants me to drive down there. So, okay, let's just start driving. How can I not show you this cool view again? Hello, random car. So this location is really close. Um, we are just gonna turn left at this little stoppy stop sign. And then the house I think should be on the right. Such pretty fall foliage here. Oh my god, I love the trees. I love them. We're now on the other side of the lake that we were at. So we were walking, I was on the other side of the shore. Just in case you wanted to know. 
Also, for some reason, I'm gonna show you once we stop driving, but for some reason, my, my Google Maps wants to call the location we're going to Van Vliet, which is very weird. I've never had a Randonautica location like labeled, like as if it was like a store or something, like or a business. Van Vliet, I will show you in just a sec. I'm at a stoplight so I can show you. Okay, it's probably not gonna zoom, but can you see that? Weird. Okay guys, I am like at the house. I'm really right in front of it. I feel super weird about filming someone's house, especially because it looks like they're home. And so I just, I don't think I'm gonna like get out and like walk around their house and film. Like how fucking weird would that be? So we're not gonna do that, but I did just show it to you. And this is it, like I can't believe I had an intention of being led to a house and it led me right to a house. Cause there have been times in the past where I've had an intention to be led to like a house and it doesn't, it won't, it doesn't do that. So the fact that it led me like right to this house, like this is it, um, is interesting. I, I don't know what kind of darkness or creepiness is going on at this house, but apparently there's something going on. Okay, I've driven away a bit and I've pulled over a safer place because also that house was like, like there was nowhere to, there's like no, not even like a side street. Like I was just like basically like in their lawn, like parked right there and I didn't want to keep filming there because I felt weird because it looked like, what's weird is it looked like a nice like family home or something. Like there was like all these little pumpkins on the front, little porch. So, but what's interesting about that whole area that I was just in is that there are a lot of like older like farm buildings out there or, um, so I, I, I wonder if maybe like the lot that the house was built on maybe used to be part of land where there was like an older farm home or like a farm in general, I don't know. Cause um, it was also, that house was right between two other houses that looked even older than that house and also looked a little bit like more like naturally creepy. Whereas that house happened to be the one house that looked a little more like homey and welcoming. So it's just kind of fascinating that that's the house that it led me to um, in terms the, of like, it didn't look from the outside like there was anything really necessarily going on. But I wonder if maybe there's like creepy old energy in the house. Like those people maybe got a freaking poltergeist. I don't know what's going on there. So anyway, guys, look at this. This is so, with the sun shining on it. It just looks the best it's ever looked. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to end the video here. I'm really tired from the heat and walking in my little crappy Birkenstocks. They're not even Birkenstocks. They're knockoff Birkenstock sandals. So I'm going to end the video here and get some food. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Please like the video and subscribe. All the stuff that I usually say at the end, but no one's watching anyway. So whatever. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in my next video.